Would you like to try painting rocks but don't know where to start? Do you lack confidence in your drawing or painting skills, or are you struggling to get an end result you are happy with? Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Nairi and my aim is to help you improve your art skills so you can create painted rocks that you are proud of. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I created this cow rock, which is super simple and only requires three paint colours plus black and white. I'll take you through the whole process step by step. If you are new to my channel and like this video, please click subscribe below and if you've watched a few of my previous videos and want to jump straight to drawing the design or painting steps, you'll find the timestamps below in the description. So let's get started. First off you're going to need a rock. For this design you can literally select any shape and size rock that you like. You'll need white acrylic paint and a flat brush for applying the base coat, a pencil and eraser for a quick sketch up of what you're going to be painting, and three acrylic paint colours, brown, light pink and beige, plus black and white. I've used Uni Posca paint pens. The colours I've used in this one are listed below in the description. I tend to use a mixture of both PC3M and PC5M thickness paint pens, and for the black outlining I use a Uni Posca PC1MR thickness. This is as fine a paint pen as you can get in the Uni Posca range. It is also useful to have a fine white acrylic paint pen on hand for any mistakes or touch-ups you might want to do. And finally, you'll need a sealer. So step one, the first thing you're going to need is a rock, which I buy from my local landscaping supply or hardware store. When selecting a rock for painting, if you can find one that has both a smooth surface and a flat face, this will make drawing your design onto the rock and painting it much easier. Step 2 is preparing the rock for painting. There are two things to do when you're preparing a rock. First give it a quick wash in warm soapy water, I just use dishwashing liquid and a kitchen scouring pad and then rinse it off and leave it to dry. Once your rock is dry I recommend applying two base coats of white acrylic paint. This is not essential but it will make your colours much more vibrant. For this design I base coat the entire front face of the rock and I use a flathead brush as this gives you the best result as it helps to spread the paint smoothly, giving you a nice finish. Before you start applying your base coat, make sure your rock isn't too hot from sitting in the sun to dry, as this makes the paint dry too quickly and will limit the amount of time you have to spread and smooth out the paint. If you're having issues with your base coat drying too quickly, you can always dip your paintbrush in some water to help rehydrate the acrylic paint. Finally, it is really important to let your base coat dry completely before moving on to the design. Step 3 is drawing the design onto the rock. For any design, regardless of how easy it is, I'd recommend doing a quick sketch up on paper first to get familiar with it. So let's go through how to draw the cow. First draw an oval lying on its side. Then draw a line above and below it touching the top and bottom of the oval. Whatever the gap is between these two lines, draw another two horizontal lines above it with a gap that is roughly the same. These lines will just be used as a guide to draw. Next, draw another oval, positioned upright this time, that takes up the entire space between the horizontal lines. This oval should be more of an egg shape that is slightly wider at the top and narrower at the bottom, and should start slightly in from the ends of the first oval. Next, draw a vertical centre line which will be used as a guide. Now let's draw the nose. Follow around the edge of the first oval, adding a slight curve upwards on the top centre of the nose and on the bottom centre of the nose. Now add two more vertical guidelines that are positioned halfway between the side of the cow's face and the vertical centre line, and draw the cow's eyes on these two lines just above the second horizontal line from the top. Next draw the mouth by following the curve of the bottom of the large upright oval. Now let's draw the head shape. Start slightly wider than where the nose meets the large upright oval and do a slight curve and then follow the oval around and do another slight curve inwards on the other side where the large upright oval meets the nose. Next let's draw the nostrils. Starting on the same vertical guidelines as the eyes, draw a curve that starts about a quarter of the way down from the top of the nose oval and finishes about a quarter of the way up from the bottom of the nose oval, and shape like an upside down apostrophe. Now we are going to draw the white patches around the eyes, so let's put a couple of guides on to help us with that. First put two little marks on the horizontal line near the eyes that cut the two centermost sections vertically in half. Next make a small mark on either side of the cow's face in the centre horizontal segment about one quarter of the way up from the bottom. Now connect these two marks you have made with a line that has a very slight curve to it. 
Next draw a horizontal line that cuts the top segment in half. Now draw a curve to join the line you have up to this new horizontal guideline, touching it where it meets the vertical guideline that the eyes are positioned on. Finally, carry the curve down until it touches the side of the cow's face at the horizontal line position just below the cow's eyes. Pop on some little curves for eyebrows that are positioned roughly halfway between the top of the eye and the top of the white patch around the eye. Now we can draw the horns, which start on the same vertical guideline as the eyes and are just made up of two curves. Then draw on the tuft of hair, starting with a curve slightly above the top of the cow's head. And let's give the cow some ears. The ears will take the top one third segment. So starting at the bottom of the ear, draw a horizontal line about a third of the width you want your ear to be. Then draw a curve upwards on an angle for the next one third of the width, which should finish touching the horizontal guide that cuts the top segment in half. For the final third of the width of the ear, slope up gently and curve the end of the ear so that it touches the top horizontal guide. Then put a line for the shape of the inner ear and repeat these steps on the other side. And now you've got a cow. The final thing to add would be some brown patches on the cow, which should be random shapes and sizes positioned wherever you like. Now that you can draw the design on paper, repeat these same steps onto your rock. My only recommendation when drawing the design onto your rock is to have the face of the cow as big as you can. The next step is to get on and start painting the rock. Whilst you might be tempted at this stage to draw black outlines around your image on the rock to make it easier to paint, I would avoid doing this. Drawing your image in black on your rock with a permanent marker might seem like a great idea, as the paint pens are water soluble and therefore won't lift or smudge permanent marker lines. However, you may find that when you apply your sealer at the end, because it will be solvent based so that it can handle harsh outdoor conditions, it may liquefy your permanent marker, which could result in your black lines bleeding and losing their sharp, crisp edges. An alternative is to draw black outlines with a super fine Posca paint pen. However, this is less than ideal too, as because they're water based, when you go to colour in the image with the other paint pens, you may find they keep picking up black on their nibs and muddying your colours, as well as requiring you to constantly clean off your nibs on paper. So if you can, stick to just using your pencil sketch. This rock is super quick and easy to paint as all the colours are solid block colours with no shading. I usually like to start by using a white paint pen to cover any pencil markings I don't want, as this saves time later down the track, as although Posca paint pens are quite opaque, sometimes the pencil lines will show through. But for whatever reason this time, I have started straight into the colour. If you make a mistake like I have, extending the brown line of the face over the edge of the white patch, don't worry, mistakes are really easy to fix. Once it dries, simply come back over it with your white paint pen. You might need to do a couple of coats of white to completely cover it up. Make sure you apply at least two coats of each colour so that you get a bright, vibrant and even paint finish. If you find it painful to watch paint dry, I use a hairdryer to speed up the process. Posca paint pens do dry very quickly, so just give it a quick blast as you don't want your rock to heat up too much. Once you've put two coats on of all your colours, use your white paint pen to go over all your remaining pencil marks to ensure they are crisp and clean.
Once everything is painted, I use my black PC 1MR paint pen to do the outlining. This is when the painting will really start to come together. But it is also the stage where you may feel a bit nervous. But don't worry, if you make mistakes, they really are very easy to fix. And the more relaxed you are, the easier you will find this. In terms of advice when it comes to black outlining, I'd recommend you move the rock around to whatever position your hand feels most comfortable. I'd also recommend you try to have your hand that is painting gently resting on the table or part of the rock to help stabilize it while you paint. And finally, don't feel like you have to do the whole line in one go. Instead, you can apply shorter black lines, which means you're only painting within a comfortable and controllable range of motion. If you make a mistake, just wait for the black paint to dry and then touch it up with a few layers of the color you want it to be. You may need to go back over the black line again after this. Also, after you've painted on the black outlines, if you're anything like me, they won't track perfectly against the colors. So you can always go back with your colors and touch up any areas and you're done. The final step is to seal your rock. Before you put your rock outside in the elements or inside for that matter, you want to make sure the paint is protected by applying a sealer. I use an exterior grade spray varnish. These should ideally be non-yellowing and have UV stabilizers. Before applying, ensure your paint is completely dry, then I like to apply two coats of a gloss varnish over all painted areas. Make sure you apply the sealant outside where you are well ventilated and have a clean, dry, non-fluffy drop cloth underneath. If you can apply light coats, this will avoid the varnish from running. And that's it! If you've enjoyed this video and want to see more, please click like and the subscribe button below.